so. Oh, you want to hear a story, huh? Come. I'll tell you everything you need to know. On a planet called Pandora, daring warriors called Vault Hunters scoured the borderlands in search of treasure and power. But they weren't the only ones. Handsome Jack, CEO of Hyperion Corporation, wanted the Vault and its secrets for himself. He and his robotic legions held the planet in an iron grip. The leader of the Vault Hunters was a brave man named Roland. He rallied an army of friends and warriors to fight Jack's tyranny. Closest to him was Tina, a young orphan explosives expert. She's a little... Uh, <laughs> look, she's completely banana sandwich, bonkers, crazy! Ah, there was a... There was Brick, who only thinks with his fists. Mordecai, a sniper who lost his beloved Bloodwing at the hands of Jack. Torg, more explosion than men. Ellie, a master mechanic. And finally, Lily, a siren gifted with incredible powers. However, she was not the only siren. Jack's daughter, Angel, used her powers to manipulate and betray the Vault Hunters. Though she turned on her father in the end, the damage was done. Jack was defeated, but at a heavy cost. Roland didn't live to see the victory his friends had earned. Sometimes a hero's reward is little more than a gunshot to the back at the hands of a coward. The ones Roland left behind still had much to do. But one little girl had some ideas for a story of her own. Once upon a time, the Vault Hunters played a game. The world is on the brink of going boom boom. This is our most desperate hour. Unless we make a stand here and now, we're gonna die. Now. Roll for initiative! What's initiative? It says which order we attack in. I punched the initiative. What's going on? I wasn't paying attention. <sighs> Tina, why don't you start over? Ahem. <clears throat> Welcome, fine ladies, to your first session of the most coolest game in the world, Bunkers and Badasses! As your Bunker Master, I will be spinning today's tale of fantasy and- Wait, why the hell are we playing this kid's game? Oh, you know, maybe because- Shut the hell up, Morty! Tina? She's right, though. Shut up. While our vault hunting buddies beat the slam jam out of that Hyperion informant downstairs, I thought we could play a game. Now, pick your characters. You got the Necromancer, the Commando, the Siren- Siren. Dibs. My Siren's name is Brick, and she is the prettiest. Tina, why don't we just start now and figure that out later? Come on, girl, you know we gotta wait for Roland before we start. Tina, Roland's... You know Roland's not coming, right? He's not... here anymore. Yeah, he's probably running late or something. We'll just start now. So, like I said... Roll for initiative, suck up! You arrive at the docks of Flame Rock Refuge. This place used to be really nice, until the handsome sorcerer messed everything up. I say we head toward the town to investigate.
Lovely day in Flame Rock Refuge. A far cry from. Wait, didn't you just say the sorcerer messed up the town? Why would things be lovely? Uh, whoops. What I meant to say is, it's eternal night, and you hear spooky music, and the whole area kind of smells like butts and dead people. Hey, this area smells vaguely of butts and death. An unpleasant stench. <laughs> Suddenly you're attacked by a horde of skellymans. They start shooting at you!
You get close to the entrance to Flame Rock Refuge, but suddenly... The handsome sorcerer's pet dragon appears! Surprise attack! Oh, ho, ho. I wanna smack it. You try to attack the dragon, but your attacks do nothing! The dragon attacks and... Critical hit! Great. Are we done now? Tina, uh, you can't start your campaign with a boss fight. Players can't win. Hmm. Touche. Okay, everybody back up! I wanted to kill something. Okay, how about a new boss? He's a skeleton. And his name is... Mr. Bony Pants Guy? I am Mr. Bony Pants Guy! Does that work? This pleases me. The road to Flame Rock Refuge is open. You should go there. Go, go, go.
You've entered the town of Flame Rock Refuge. In the distance, you see the town's scouting blimps, always alert in case of battles and stuff. What are you gonna do now? Stop playing this game. Let's talk to some town folk. A grand idea. <laughs> Brightened the world. <clears throat> Welcome to Flame Rock Refuge. Looking for a healer? <laughs> You're in the right place. Fairly well. Welcome to Ye Old Bullet Emporium. Keep the bullets flying. is as evil as he is handsome. Be on your guard. I am Master Mumbles, and you will treat me with the respect I deserve. The Queen hath gone missing. Maybe her bodyguard Eleanor knows where she went. If the Queen doesn't return, we shall never see the sun again. Sounds like we should go find this Eleanor. Uh, the bodyguard isn't here. Oh, whoops. Forgot to put her piece on the board. Blam! Girl looks like she got a problem. I punch her problems. I talk to her. In character, of course. She go. She said something about using the tree alive to undo the curse. That must be where she's going. And so your purpose became clear. You gotta go to the forest and help the queen. The orcs fight for whomever pays best, and the sorcerer pays very well. I am but a humble merchant, and these are my wares. Until we meet again. For bullets, bullets for coins. You have chosen wisely, wise chosen one. Yield goodbye. You need healing badly. Have fun swarming the town. Potions and armor. Kinda. <laughs> oh. 
Don't die.
counting on you. Yes, the queen went into the forest. It's too dangerous to go alone. I shall accompany you. Just one second, then. Whoop, time out. I gotta take this. This Tina. It's Mr. Torn! Tina! Put me in the game! Okay! The gatekeeper is now Mr. Torg. Woo! Well, to see you. So I'm a gatekeeper, huh? In that case, you gotta prove your bad attitude and pass me. First task, blow up the village of scouting blimps with the fire weapon. Because reasons! You doing awesome with that quest? I bet you are! Adventurer. We just destroyed the village's only way to see approaching threats. We had no reason to do that. doesn't have a tavern. <clears throat> Adventurer, it's closing time, but these idiots can't take a hint. Could you throw them out for me? Don't be afraid to get rough. Moxie, I'm surprised you're not bright orange because that body is Your mom. legendary. <laughs>
No sense. Torg is ruining your campaign. I'm having fun. Well done. You're now badass enough to survive the forest. Out of our way. All right, fair enough. Okay, Mr. Torg, I banish you to the stocks. The stocks? Awesome! Anyway, I'm called Davlin, the gatekeeper. I shall open the way to the forest. You will not survive the horrors of the forest on your own. I shall meet you inside and serve as a guide. Enter the Forest of Tranquility! Tranquility? Boring! Hmm. Okay, good point. Dang, now I gotta come up with a better name for the forest. I knew I shouldn't have trusted the trees.
to Cleric Zed's Health Emporium. Thanks for the gold. <laughs> Good luck on your quest, or whatever. Find a jewel on the ground. Maybe the queen left it to mark her trail. Then we should follow the jewels that lead us right to her. Yeah, what Big Lily Style said. Just stick to the main road and you'll be ace. This forest grew from the corpses of my enemies. Isn't that a kick in the ass? Hey, maybe after I kill you, a fern will grow out of your body or something. People like ferns. You ever notice that? Uh, where are you going? We're exploring. You may not want to do that. I only balance the combat on the main path and... Oh, no. 
Wait, wait, wait. How in the hell are we supposed to kill these things? Ah! My bad! My bad! I'll fix it! I can... L let me fix it! Boom! Combat balanced!
Oi, over here. Follow me. I believe the queen went this away. Curses, a dead end. There must be some way through. This is orcish writing. It says you need to bathe the artifacts in the juices of blah blah blah. Whatever. Looks like you just need to collect some blood fruit. What the hell? What's a blood fruit? It's a squishy thing that grows on the trees over here! Come <laughs> on. 
blood fruit grew on the tree ants. Woo! They do. <sighs> Think you're cool enough to grab the fruit without killing the tree first? Go grab me! Now, smear it on the artifacts, please. Marty, you look different. Yeah? Oh, it's the... Where's your Barty? Your little Barty friend? Tina, we told you what happened to Bloodwing. Mmm, mmm. So anyway, she's so cute! Where is she? Let's just play the game, alright? Looking for a healer? <laughs> You're in the right place. Welcome to G.O. Bulletin Podium. I shall see you soon. <laughs> <laughs> 